All right, in today's video, we're going to take a trip down memory lane to the first uh, workstation I built back in 20, 2014. I built this one. It was uh, interesting to go through the process to basically find out which components do you want, how much did you want to spend, which components work together, and so on and so on. Uh, the biggest shock at the time was purchasing video cards. I never purchased a video card at the time. And looking at the price, I was like, oh my God, these are expensive. Back then, 180 bucks was outlandish. Now that's free to me. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this was a Corsair built machine. Most of the parts are Corsair. I got the power supply. The, the uh, mini tower here is a Corsair tower. Has a clear side, which I took off. Why did I take that off? Initially, I had this as a DCS gaming simulator type machine. Playing lots of games, wasting lots of time that I could have been, uh, could have been spent basically making a better version of myself instead of playing stupid games and spending money on games. But that's just the way it was. Wasting time. Yeah. Regrets. All right. This one I built. This is a beautiful little ass rock motherboard. Look how small the form factor is, baby. This thing is gold. What is the evolution of this thing? Uh, let's see. I started out as a gaming machine, right? Came in, built it out, has the old drives. Look at that. There's the old, oh my God, it's got a DVD, CD-ROM. Woo, my Lord, that's old. Uh, it's got an old digital, not digital, a mechanical drive, not an SDD. Got the, uh, lot, I had lots of fans on this puppy, and you could see with the filter I had when I was running, it'd suck all that uh, dust and lint in, and that was a great thing to have a filter on there. Had the airflow coming in, and also flowing in this way and then out the back here i had two fans up here just to keep the airflow at a maximum because in here i had the gpu actually mounted on the motherboard at the time and yeah so uh fast forward the machine just sat 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 it was a windows machine then uh enter crypto mining mode i'm looking at this thing going this thing is just sitting here gathering dust what can i do with it this is a beautiful little intel i don't even know what the heck this is i can't read it doesn't say on the label it does but i can't see that it usually says i something it's probably like an i4 it's so old but uh yeah i went through look it's only got two channels in memory too anyway i decided let's turn this into a mining rig how do i do that how do i learn this stuff i'm an idiot i went to public school how do i learn how to do computer stuff even though that's my profession right my trade uh yeah so anyway you just had one that worked right i actually built confidence up knowing that i built a machine that lasted you know god it's what 20 when i started mining 2020 boom so there the machine lasted six years without any issues at all i think a fan blade broke woohoo because i was effing around with it but uh yeah other than that everything's been running fine just dust bunnies and that great machine so you have confidence and you're not going to do anything wrong you can always learn you got the intermanet to teach you and uh yeah went out got my memory remember i took this out i was going to see if it worked but this is i was see if this worked in another newer motherboard uh cpu rig but this is ddr3 so no joy i will put this back in here just so i don't lose it and right now i'll just yeah i'll just put them right here i'll hold them i'll hold them so for safekeeping here <laughs> i'm gonna drop them so yeah i decided let's what can we do with this boy uh yeah i got uh, on here at a, back then i even knew how to get more juice because i was going to run a video gaming machine so i got a 750 power supply corsair i don't even know if this one's rated remember they, they start rating them now bronze gold all that crap but uh i don't see one on here I, it's a it's a corsair it's got to be at least a gold baby who knows it's 2014 so that's what we have this little motherboard the motherboard that could is a champ i was able to tether six gpus off of this little motherboard the motherboard came right up in windows my god windows oh dear lord no the uh, the, the evil empire came right up recognized all six gpus they were 1660s in that in that realm recognized them 
and uh, had no issues with configuring the BIOS. I didn't have to touch it. If anything, I went and upgraded the BIOS to the latest after time, but initially came up, recognized all the GPUs, and let's grab one here. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Look at that little baby 1660. It's so cute. So cute. Look at that. Look at that. Not even a protection plate on the back. Old school, man. Boom. So, uh, yeah, they came right up. I'll show you the drawer next to me in a minute. Came right up and uh, recognized the GPUs. Installed the mining software. Had to update. The, uh, update. Had to increase the virtual memory just so, uh, you know, based on every GPU you have, you have to update the virtual memory. Based on the GPU size, it's running 8 megabytes, whatever it is, because otherwise it won't run right. So you just got to know that crap. But that's through McResearch you figured out. Uh, here is uh, the answer to the question I just gave away. But Crypto Jim, you have four PCIe slots. How did you run? How did you run six GPUs, Jim? Uh, well, it's called a, I don't know if it's a splitter. I don't know, a splitter. Let's call it a splitter. It's a PCIe splitter. And uh, basically it's one to four. Right? One in. There's your PCIe slot. Oh, I dropped my speaker, my earplug. Hold on. Do, 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 do. So this little buggy, this little guy, PCIe slot, goes right in the PCIe slot right here. Boom. See that? Plugs right in there. And then you run your USB cables out to, let's see if I got one here. Oh, I do. I got one. You run a USB cable out. All right. Let's get back to this. I thought I ripped my microphone out of the uh, iPhone. Anyway, you run from the splitter, the one to four PCIe splitter USB cables out to your GPU riser. This is a GPU riser from, if I can read it, gpurisers.com. They made some of the better stuff out there, the better power cables, the better risers, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, You run it out to there, and I, you can just have this hanging off one of those uh, Borg Baker racks I made, or a wood rack, or just an external rack to hold your GPUs. That is how you could get six GPUs wired into these uh, four in the here. Wait, how many I have in here? One, two... I think I only had six total, so I had one, two, un, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't use all four, so I had just used all three slots on this, even though it was just a splitter. So I had six GPUs hanging off that, using the risers, and you're going, if you're new to this, let me show you this real quick. Where did I put that GPU? Oh, I just dropped it. <laughs> these things are durable. You can drop these things. As long as you don't break the fan blades, you're good to go. Uh, basically, I have it backwards. Your power connector goes into here, and your USB goes into there. I typically don't use the main power supply that runs the CPU and motherboard and all that stuff. To run the GPUs, I usually have a separate power supply that can handle the total wattage load of the GPUs, and you have to do your McMath on that to make sure you have enough juice to power those things. That's why I hate it. It became a power management a heat issue, electricity management, a space management, and a maintenance headache. Yeah, I got sick of it after a while. Of course, then Ethereum went to POS, so there was no really need to GPU for me anymore, and I dumped most of these things on eBay, taking a nice loss. Yay! Uh, all right, so here you put this little guy in here. Look at that. It goes right in there, big guys. Boom! That is your GPU riser set up with your old little GPU. Now picture these little risers with a nice 3080 Ti with three fans, weighs about 30 pounds, sucks about uh, 700 watts of juice. Yeah, good old days, baby, good old days. So that's how you do it. That's how you get multiple GPUs off a motherboard. This is an old motherboard and it worked great. Ass rock for the win, big daddy. Um, yeah, no issues at all. Some of the MSI motherboards, I had to go in and tweak the BIOS settings just so it would pick up and recognize uh, three or more GPUs on the motherboard. It was a pain in the butt, a lot of trial and error, a lot of reconfiguration. Just learn, 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 try, try, try. Yeah. Also, if you're going to do this GPU crap, uh, GPU mining hobby, GPU, again, G I, don't, I don't get anything out of GPU risers. I, they took a lot of my money, but here's some good cables that are wrapped and none of these I've had issues with. Uh, some of these ones, you don't ever buy these off Amazon. 
these will melt and burn and this could burn your house down i got these off of um gp risers as well go with quality man go with quality or uh, burn your house down your homeowner's insurance will probably not cover if your mining room burns your house down <laughs> just just saying um let alone insurance companies do not want to uh, fulfill claims anyway so god if they can find a reason not to fulfill a claim they're going to do it because their job is to keep your money and not pay you back when you file a claim how do i know well we have people in the insurance industry we know them and uh yeah it's a racket man all right let's go on what are we talking about oh for power now so yeah all right you got this you got the, this is an old intel baby and uh, all i needed to do for gpu mining was just to get the motherboard up run the os boom 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 uh, you didn't need a super powerful uh, processor to get mining on GPU stuff. The power is in the GPU. I mean, this thing is a computer in itself. That's why AI is uh, making NVIDIA stock go through the roof. That's another story. Uh, let's see. So there's that. Oh, let's do the power supply. Boom, boom. Oh, let's go over here. This is boring. But that's the OG, the original, the original workstation, miner, whatever you want to call it. All right, here's the box. Here's one box of goodies left there. Well, here's some other stuff. Look, always keep your boxes. You can find space. I got GPU boxes, CPU boxes, uh, uh, switch boxes, etc. in there. Got to keep them, guys. Keep them because then you can resell this crap. And it might, you know, I don't know. Not really. eBay takes 13, 14%. So you, yeah, it might make it easier to sell them or store them if you're going to keep them as uh, momentums when you're 90. You can look back. Uh, here's some more boxes. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. It goes to the ceiling. Power supplies. Uh, motherboard boxes. Those are what? Motherboard boxes? Yeah. Oh, there's one 6600. I have a couple 6600s left. I'm just going to dump them on eBay, I think. I don't know. But eBay just takes so much money. It's so frustrating. Uh, all right. Let's get back to power, baby. Power is part of the equation of GPU mining. This is a light on, if not an HP power supply. This one isn't an HP brand. That one's an HP brand down there. Uh, I can't hear. There's a small print, man. You got to find out what the power is on this thing. This is, I think it's a 750. I'm looking, I'm looking. It's just such small print and it's in here somewhere. Anyway, not going to waste your time. You uh, basically, it's a server power supply. What does that mean? You know, those one use server trays you have in racks. This is what slides in like cha-ching, and then it clips, and it's in that one use server. They're a little noisy now and then when they uh, get juiced up, when they are, start pulling on a lot of power, they um, they get a little noisy, but not terrible. This is the sandwich board that goes into it, the breakout board, goes into the end of it right here, boom. And you can run these cables off of this into your GPU. So you get a nice little octopus effect. And there's what I'm talking about, man. Even the breakout board look at that not good i got three this is the, on a 380 ti rig and i caught that and went what is happening you know you expect good crap but that is not a safe thing right there so you gotta watch out for that i keep this for educational purposes only yeah oh what do we got in here look at that oh we got an msi look at these little motherboards i like the little ones they're so cute I like little babies uh this is an amd5 one man i should actually I'm out of memory though. I don't want to spend any more money on hardware. It's just a fool's errand right now. But, uh, oh, oh my God, no, I got one. Oh, look what I got here, guys. All right, let's put this up here. Oh, I'm making a mess. One second, put the riser back. Put I'll put the memory back later. All right, this is a cool little mother. I actually should get, this is an old one. Why is this like this? This is an old MSI. I have no idea what model this is. I have no idea where I got this. I think it was a time when it was hard to get any parts. I was just thankful to get a motherboard. So this has a little AMD 5 on nothing. There's not even dirt on this thing. This, thing. this was barely used. This has one of those. This is why I like small, small little form factors. Simple little CPU. If you're on CPU mining, you want a beefier CPU. Obviously, I don't like wireless. Boom, get rid of it. Why? You want to always have that cat cable plugged in right there for speed uh then you're not freaking frying your body with wi-fi uh radio signals the whole day yeah all right this here is what i'm talking about not many pci slots you got one one two three and then with this if i wanted to hang gpus off it which i did i had six you'd come in here 
you know, put a PCIe extender, extender, maybe a splitter here, boom. And then same thing as this puppy, have six guys hanging off, two memory slots. Beauty here is, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna salvage this. Look at that. That is a, I think it's the M2, is that what? I always get it wrong, it's the M2 form factor. It basically, if I can see it, you see that? It slides in there, it's, a, it's basically a, a hard drive for booting up. So it's an SD M, is it M2 or M4? God, I can't remember. M2 sounds right. Um, I'm trying to find another one. That oh, there's only one on this, one slot on this. I'm trying to read it. This is a Mag A520 M vector Wi-Fi. Well, that's the Mag. Is that the board? I have no idea. You, s I don't remember buying this at all. Anyway, let's go on. I love these little drives. I should show you how to format one. Basically, it's just a little stick. It looks like a stick of memory. I mean, a lot smaller. Look at that. There's memory. But uh, basically, it, it plugs in horizontal right here. It's a little adapter, little slot. And then you screw it in, hunker her down. And then what I do, I have an adapter, which this plugs into. And then it plugs into a USB on a laptop or whatever. And then I basically install the Windows bootable image on it. And so when I plug this in, I have it boot in the BIOS from this guy, this guy right here. It comes up, boom, Windows is ready to go. The beauty of this is what? None of this crap. This uh, SATA cable's hanging out. There's no need to run these, uh, these cables to your SATA drives, even those Kingston wafer ones, or a, a also an extra power cable, which comes out of your... Uh, power supply unit, this thing, and let me get rid of this, this thing, you'll have a uh, hard drive SATA power cable coming out the little flat thing. None of that, baby, because it's all on your board, and it boots right up, makes a nice clean layout, and uh, no, 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 two extra, two less cables is what I'm trying to say. So it just makes it clean. I like that. I like the clean look. Uh, perfect. I'm going to have memory. I'll have a power cable here and a CPU power cable here and that is it and if I'm doing GPU crap then I'll have the GPU uh, PCIe cables uh, coming out of here for the risers the GPU risers and then these stupid antennas will go because I want to have the cat5 so there you go that's a pro tip right there that is sweet I forgot I had one of those I gotta I gotta figure out how I'm gonna use that I want it let's look through my other ones this is like a this is like a coffee break time going through computer parts. So we're having a coffee break, looking at old crap. Oh my God, I got another board in there. Oh, I got another AMD. It's like Christmas. This is why you don't throw stuff out or sell it without knowing what you got first. This one, yeah, there's the old SATA cable, blah, blah, barf, barf. Oh, I got a little horn on there, a little speaker. I got to get that off. I can recycle that. That's the CPU. I'm going to save that over here. Look at this one, big daddies. Oh, my God. Look at all these GPUs. These are only 1660s. I'm not. I'm going to keep those for now. They're not worth selling because I'm not going to get anything for them. Oh, on here I bought these. Uh, someone made, I forgot who the dude was on YouTube, made uh, 3D printing mounts. You could put these on those wire cookie rack frames from Home Depot. It was beautiful. I actually kept, obviously, the board from contacting metal and shorting out. It worked. It was great. This was my 3080 Ti one. Yeah, this is the old MSI. Oh, uh, is it on here? X470 Gaming Plus. I love these motherboards. I don't know why. Probably because it's like your first love. Uh, four slots of memory. AMD 5. I got two AMDs sitting here. Man, so what I'd have to do is buy four sticks of memory. And that's it. I just need four. I got the power supplies. Four sticks of memory. I'll have to go price it out. 30 uh, DDR4. 30, man, 3200 maybe. See if that's see if the price the juice is worth the squeeze. Oh, there's some more crappy cables. Um, let's see. So there we go. Look at that. What's on the bottom? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's the mount. Well, oh, I could build. I could actually build at least three computers and sell them if I wanted to. Oh my God, this one. This is all, and I'll keep this one. Uh, let's see. Where is it? I was going to show you this up close. There's one of these GPU risers that plug right into the PCIe slot. Right. Oh my God right there and that's how you got it backwards and that's how you do it boom 
and then that USB cable runs to your GPU, which is hanging off a rack, and powered separately. Oh, uh, yeah, what else we got? Oh, the problem with these risers? Oh, let's see. Let's see if I can foam. These all stayed on. GPU risers made the better ones. I did buy some, yeah. Sometimes you lose that foam backing, and then you kind of expose the back. It might get shorted, but then typically you do have that. But most of the heat, it just stuff would just fall off. Because GPU mining, you are messing with a lot of heat. Yeah. So where are we at? Oh, 13 minutes. Way too long of a video just to show you my junk. My junk. That didn't sound right. Whoa. All right. Let's put this back. So there you go. I'm glad I found this old, that old, that old, that, that's a nice little thing to know. I got that drive right there. I love those things. And I'm a, I would, man, if you're building, get those little SDD cards right there. Kingston makes them same size as if you're buying the wafer size, the square ones. Uh, yeah, it's worth it. It just makes a nice little clean motherboard computer build makes you look like a pro baby uh what else we got going on just boxes boxes tidying up as i go uh what's this hold on oh it's amazing how you forget all the crap you bought see this one's good no burn marks uh, i'm trying to find a cable that i had there was one cable in here that was a little bit fried yeah especially when you're not home and you come back and find it you kind of go oh my lord what was i thinking this red thing is another someone made. What's this guy's name? Oh, that hobbyist miner dude. Is that who it is? No. Hobbyist. Hobbyist. Oh, yeah. I bought these from him. Uh, some of these broke. They didn't withstand the heat, which is fine. It's plastic. But uh, they would hang off the baker's rack as well. Uh, again, you're spending all this money at the time when you're trying to make money. So this, I think for a bunch of these was like 30 bucks or so, I can't remember around 30 under 40 bucks let's say that but still 40 bucks is 40 bucks when all I do now before I stop mining and even now with my motherboards zip ties baby I have a wire rack from Home Depot which costs under 50 bucks and then I hang the freaking hardware all hardware including the GPUs from zip ties which I don't know it's the way to go man think smart quit spending money on crap you don't need uh, that's all I got for today. It's showing the uh, little coffee break computer crypto mining visit again. Just trying to see what I got. And it's good to do that. That is a goal. That's like finding gold right there for me. And uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Show me your hardware. What do you guys got in stock? Are you building hardware? If so, what are you buying? Uh, yeah, I, I wonder if it's hard to get GPUs now with... Uh, AI taken off, so I have no idea. That I've been out of it for a while. That's why I want to buy anything. So on my action items, finish this video up. I'm going to go price out four sticks of DDR4 memory. I probably won't buy it, but I just want to see what I can get uh, using my coupons and Amazon stuff and that. Uh, using a Capital One plugin on the Brave browser and Chrome browser, it'll go through any store you're on and find any coupons. You get like extra 30 bucks off. It's an amazing plugin. It's actually worth getting. Uh, that's all I got. Go forth. Yeah. Yeah. Do great things. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Cool stuff. Hardware. Oh, oh. All right. I'm out. Boom.